my channel, Rhymes Times Thoughts, our everyday guy, everyday thoughts. But hey, what am I talking about today? You know, I think I dream all the time. I woke up, had a strange dream last night, and I said, why not talk about that? Isn't dreams fascinating? Dreams are unique. I mean, if dreams weren't important, we wouldn't have sleep studies of why we're not sleeping. People are making money doing that. Isn't that crazy? Just interesting dreams. I mean, think about it. some people are able to dream and predict the future, solve problems. I mean, we saw movies, we saw TV series when people dream and able to solve a problem, a murder, a series and so, and there are people like that. Do you want to be one of those people? I always thought that was cool. But then at the same time, I go like, wow, that'd be weird. Seeing the future. God, how would I take that? Will I be able to sleep at night? Um, I mean, just interesting, isn't that? I mean, what are dreams? I mean, what actually the meaning of dreams? They've been trying to figure that out for centuries, right? You hear stories all the time of angels or somebody coming in their dreams and telling them about the future. Also, some people might, hopefully not me, see their death coming. Can you imagine that? That'd be crazy. Um, hopefully I don't be the one of those. But I always want to be the one that is able to see the prediction of it. I love analyzing my dreams. You know, I love also, I'm one of those ones that are able to change their dreams while they're dreaming. Because I might not like the outcome. It does make me a little tense my jaw. I might wake up with migraines. But hey, I don't. if I don't like a dream that's coming out, dude, I will do everything possible to change it. But I was lucky to do that. But what is, I mean, what is a dream? I mean, what is the meaning of a dream? You know, people have different things, you know, different thoughts about it. Um, why we dream, why we have nightmares and so forth. What dream cause? Um, and what is the meaning? What, they, what are they? Is your body giving you a hint? I try to pay attention to everything my body's telling me. Because who knows? I might not pay attention when I'm awake. And my body's telling me maybe I have an illness and I dream over and over of cancer. Maybe I should go see a doctor because maybe my body is telling me that. You never know. Science don't know that, right? So I said, hmm, what does, what does it indicate? Your thoughts, um, your weakness. Um, how does it release? The body has to release Why we sleep. It, it releases, calms ourselves, and our body does healing while we're asleep. Um, so it's kind of fascinating. Why would you not pay attention to your dreams? I mean, the stories come out of there. Imagination. Uh, minds create interesting state of when we're asleep. And I know for a fact, it seems like some of the movies they make, some of the songs people write, um, they might not be able to sleep. I mean, literally, I only sleep maybe four or five hours mats. I just can't. I I die for that realm sleep, and once I'm in it, I'm not in there too long. But people love sleeping forever. Maybe they love dreaming, they love going to bed because everything seems right. Happiness, all that, maybe, but I don't sleep. I know some of the great artists probably don't sleep at all. I mean, I wonder how many, how many hours Taylor Swift sleeps at night because she writes so many these love songs, all these are great writing, and she's, you might not like her, but man, she's powerful in the industry how she comes up with the writing. The great horror movies, Steven Seaborg, some of his movies, and you go, my like, God, how does he do it? How does he think outside the box, the creativity? I mean, I think people have God talent in many ways. Also, you wonder, wow, some of the movies and somebody direct, you go, my like, dude, is that person really like that? The murderers and um, how they get away with murder. And you go, my like, dude, how did you dream of that? Did you actually do that? and you haven't been caught, oh, always thought about that. But dreams are fascinating. And remember, they have sleep studies about that. So I think it's the greatest thing. I uh, love changing my dreams, the outcome, if I don't like it. I might wake up with a migraine headache, but boy, I, if I don't like that outcome, I'm able to change my dreams. Isn't that strange? I could actually change that outcome if I don't like it. And you could ask my wife that I do that. 
But then also animals do dream too. You ever had your dog bark and start running and you go like, dude, I just want to be in that dream what that dog is barking. My dog was like 15 years old, dreaming and start barking and running. And man, he's 15 years old. I want to know what he's dreaming about. Man, he might be, who knows? But I think that's the coolest thing. But the biggest thing why I have this, I have dreams all the time. So my scars come up from my childhood, you know, and I still dream. I'm 57 years old and I still dream of things that happened in high school that I might have not been aware of. Or I just want to blend in because I actually grew up in an all uh, white town. I was the only black kid in the whole high school all my years, honestly, from seventh grade to almost my senior year. I think I had a family that not even finished a year, popped in, popped out. But isn't that crazy? So I carry some scars that I never aware of. And my, even my best friend um, told me like, hey, you weren't aware what was going behind you. And I go like, wow, you know? So it's kind of interesting some of the scars that I still carry. And I can't say my high school was bad in a sense because I had a great class. I still remember some of my greatest friends. I mean, uh, well, my friend Ronnie, um, um, he was great. Casey was cool. Uh, but Ronnie, I, I skied, I, I had a great time, rode motorcycles and we chased rabbits and the rabbit, I mean, those rabbits are smart, almost made us um, all fly off a cliff. Um, it had us roll into um, by, by, by wire and he almost flipped off his motorcycle. Um, I remember uh, my best friend Robbie, he took care of me probably behind the scenes that I was not aware of. Um, and his dad and, and his family actually made me still survive and who I am because I could have turned out so much different. So I'm really grateful. His his sister, for the rebel, she didn't take anything um, to grant it. You don't mess with her. And she's small but mighty. And it was kind of interesting. Um, one, of my, one of my first friends, um, Denise, her dad worked at the post office. We were down the street in just that little time we spent in, I think, seventh, eighth grade changed me um, in a way that uh, made me appreciate things. And I wasn't the coolest kid in the class. I did some crazy stuff. I'm sure I wasn't aware of it, but I tried to treat everybody the same. So I love dreaming. I love experience my old fun stuff, but also the scars that actually maybe it's time for me to heal and learn how to, how to adapt. So I think dreams are important. And I wanted this subject to talk about it because I dream all the time and I had a weird dream last night and I go, why not talk about it? Um, how dreams are important. So I always say, don't take your dream uh, lightly because it might be telling you what might become. You might be able to save yourself and it also might um, tell you, your body's telling you, wow, you're unhealthy please get out of this state of mind. So I think dreams are important and dreams want to be important. It's so important because people make a lot of money just to learn how to get in a realm sleep. So I just want to, you know, talk about, remember the scary dreams. It's okay. You get over them. Hopefully. Remember the, don't forget to laugh about your dreams. Laughter kills the heart, gets the blood pressure going. You know, hey, some of our dreams are pretty cool. We might think about when we were camping and some crazy stuff, scaring people, campers and stuff like that. But isn't that, but remember, we wouldn't watch the movies, the concerts, all that, if we didn't appreciate people's thoughts, their dreams and their creativity. So we always clap. I don't know why people clap it after a movie when the person, the, they're not in the movie. So why are you clapping? But hey. Go for it, but I won't. Strange. But like I said, thank you for tuning in to um, Ryan Symes Thoughts. Enjoy yourself. Have fun. Catch me on my SoundCloud because I have different topics and, and so forth. Ryan Symes Thoughts. Catch me on my Twitter account. Ch check me out on Instagram. My Twitter is Thomas Rhymes Jr. Check me out on Instagram. Hey, subscribe. Press like. Make comments. Let me just have fun with your thoughts, your creativity, and see if you thought of something I should film. Let me see if I could do that. But anyway, thank you for tuning into Rhymes Times Thoughts, our everyday guy, our everyday thoughts. Have a good one. <laughs>